How are you? How are you doing? Can you lead us to the beach? Yeah? I'm gonna go to the beach now. Can you bring us to the beach? Bring us to the beach, please. Come. Okay, come. We are Rick and Love, and we are always seeking for underrated places to visit. This week we want to show that besides the famous walking street, Pattaya still has his hidden gems. and the train will go at 6.55 so we had time to buy our food we have here, with that? we have some bagels waffles oh, waffles <laughs> mom, I'm not even 150 show me no, you know what it means? you short Am I not 150? You're sure. Am I not 150? So you can go to Pattaya with the train and with the bus. And today we took the train. Well, it was actually pretty okay, only it took way longer than we expected. If you're gonna take the train, make sure you're there at the train station before 7 a.m. because they're only departing two trains to Pattaya every day. So what time is it? It's 11.22. It took us four hours to come here. And four <laughs> hours with the train. And it was a lot easier than I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super sweaty. Let's uh, find a way to the hotel there. Oh, there is, is this the pool? No, Stay here for two nights. Uh huh. So we have this really a comfy bed. Uh huh. Oh yeah. So the nice thing about this hotel is like super near the beach. Uh huh. Over there. Uh huh. There we got the Whisper Hotel. Uh huh. So don't be too loud. <laughs> and in the morning we have all included a breakfast and there is a swimming pool. So nice. Let's check the the bar. Ta -da, ta -da. Hi, this is the bathroom. Ooh, yeah. I like the shower. Oh, check here. You got body wash, hair wash, hair treatment. Oh, nice. Here we have a nice closet. What's in there? There is umbrellas. Okay. And memories. Okay, now we're gonna like just chill a bit because uh -huh. I'm super sweaty yeah. from the tree. And then we're gonna refresh ourselves for some new plans. So today we are on our way to... To Polar. Polar. Let's see or it's worth it. <laughs> so how are we gonna go there? Walking. Then by ferry. Yeah, walking and then with the ferry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and the ferry is uh, 30 baht? 30 baht, it's Which person, part? one way. Uh, well, let's find out. take the ferry. I personally really like to take the ferry because if you take the speedboat it can be a really bumpy ride and not everyone who takes a speedboat 
is aware of how sick that can make you. And then the moon was there. We arrive at. First thing what really surprised us when we arrived at Kolarn is there are almost no cars. We might saw two cars over the whole day, but that's it. So the main transportation on the island is your scooters. And I really like to drive a scooter, especially when there are no cars on the road. This gives you so much more freedom just to move around. Besides that, the island is not that big, so with a scooter it's really easy to see the whole island in one day. surprised about was the beautiful nature. We went to other islands in the past and mostly they are like packs with like 7-elevens, hostels, restaurants, anything. But here it just felt so laid back, so chill and you just still get that really that island vibe when you're here. I think on the whole island we just spot one 7-eleven and that's it. Hotel. Um, what is that island, babe? What? That's Pattaya. Chennai. That is Pattaya. What is that island, though? Yeah, I don't know. It's just a small island. How are you? How are you doing? Can you lead us to the beach? Yeah? I'm gonna go to the beach now. Can you bring us to the beach? Bring us to the beach, please? Come. Okay, come. Go follow me. So the last reason why we really liked Kolarn were, of course, the beaches. As you see, they are actually stunning. On the whole island you will find 8 beaches and there is place enough just to lay on the beach and we really think that if you are near Bangkok that Kolarn is definitely a place where you have to go. When we head back to Pattaya, we decided to climb the mountain with the Pattaya sign on it. On the top, there was an unexpected surprise waiting for us. What is actually funny is that in the beginning, I was super scared of the Thai dogs here. But the longer I'm here, I just realized that they are totally not aggressive. I'm now more than fine just to be near them and I'm not scared that they would bite or do anything. After 15 minutes climbing, we finally reached the top and the view was awesome. To make it even better, there were these beautiful parents flying around. 
After a few minutes, we just realized they were actually training the parrots over there. All good things come to an end, so as well our trip to Pattaya. So our conclusion is, when you're gonna go to Pattaya, definitely check out Kolarn and go to the Pattaya sign because they're pretty cool to visit.